Good evening, everyone. It is October 26th. Uh, it's a Monday. It is 7.20 p.m. And I wanted to show uh, you guys, um, and this is, tonight is particularly aimed to those that have been purchasing our BMO lasers. And I want to thank each and every one of you. Um, <clears throat> and for those that are of you that are contemplating on purchasing a, a BMO, please let me make it clear. If you have any questions, please do not purchase until all your questions are answered. Please feel free to call me at 631-730-7228 uh, between 9 and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, and on Saturdays from 10 to 4 p.m. So again, like I said, this tutorial is aimed at those that have gotten the, the laser and it is also aimed at those that already have a laser, whether it be a K40, a, a Trotec, uh, an Epilogue, it doesn't matter. This tutorial is for those that have a laser, okay? So what you're seeing here on the screen is a software which is free to use. It's online. It's online based. It is a fantastic program. And what it does is it takes your image, basically a, like a photograph or whatever that you choose, whether it's a Google image, your personal photograph, it doesn't matter. And it converts it um, for laser engraving if you're doing it on wood, slate, tile, uh, acrylic, um, glass. It's, it's a phenomenal software. And um, my hat's off to the gentleman who uh, created this software and allowed it to be uh, freely used. Uh, it's a free online image converter, and it's a very, very simple program to use, okay? So without further ado, let's get going. So the site you want to go to um, is, and I'm, and I'm going to use my mouse up here, I'm, I'm circling it, is image, I-M-A-G, dash or minus sign the letter r dot com so it's image r dot com so please you know bookmark this put it in your favorites all right and it's a fantastic um uh website a fantastic software so everything is laid out for you right here okay and he's he's got it further explained down here the red box with the arrow going up is upload your image you can crop the image, then you can resize the image. You choose the material that you want to laser engrave on. You can save it or start all over, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this kind of quick, but at the same time, and you know, uh, if you have any questions, please don't, you know, uh, hesitate to uh, either PM me, call me, or just post uh, below this uh, video that, you know, we posted here, okay? So let's do the first thing. We're gonna take an image. I'm gonna choose an image, all right? Now this is an image I borrowed from his website, from one of the members in the website. And uh, it's a beautiful image, all right? And I'm gonna open it. And once you choose your image, it immediately converts it to black and white. So pick a color image. There's your black and white image. And I chose this image because it's got a lot of detail and contrast and shadows and all of that stuff in it, okay? Now, the width here is 960 by 640. The DPI is 96. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to improve that. But before we get into it, let's go over to the crop, okay? So here you have your, your, your crop thing, all right? And you can crop it and, and, and bring the image in. You can just, you know, uh, basically, you know, just highlight her face, do whatever you want. All right. So, but I don't want to crop it for right now, not this particular image anyway, but you would use this tool to get rid of whatever unwanted background that you didn't want there. What I really like is right here, the round edges. Watch what happens when you grab the slider and you move it to the right. Let it go. And if you look very closely, you can see the edges have been rounded. And of course, I can bring it a little bit more and make it really rounded. So keep in mind the, the, uh, the substrate that you're going to be putting it on. It might be an oval-shaped 
a piece of wood or whatever. All right. So we're going to leave this alone. We're going to put it back. All right. And, you know, just to give you the full effect and close it. But I just wanted to show you that feature in the software. I'm back to my original image. Now, let's go to the green square, okay? And if you go down, the green square talks about resizing your image. But what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to, you know, and here you can do pixels, inches, millimeters, okay? So uh, here, I'll just convert it to inches. So it's 10 inches by 6 inches in height, no big deal. But the DPI is the important part, 96 DPI or dots per inch. When it comes to a photograph, all right, 300 or more is definitely preferable, okay? So, but I found that a lot of members are using this magic number, 318. Don't ask me why, but they are, and it works, okay? So once you change your DPI, because you don't want it to be 96 or 72, whatever your, you know, number is here, hit the word okay, and what it's going to do is it just created the second image. Here's your laserable image so far. You're halfway there, all right? And you can see the difference in the tone of her skin, okay? You can see it's a little bit lighter, all right? You can zoom in so you can see, you know, the details and so on. All right, let's bring it back, all right? So, and here's your height and width, and there's your DPI remained at 318. But once we did that, advanced settings came up, which is really cool. It wasn't there before. So click on advanced settings. All right. Now, mirroring the image, you're only going to do that if you're doing acrylic. Okay. And it's very important because when you do acrylic, especially um, mirrored acrylic, um, and you place it in the machine, the mirrored acrylic is placed where the back is facing you. It's placed upside down. So, of course, you want the image to be mirrored. All right. Uh, if you're doing um, acrylic, uh, you want to invert the image. All right. So let's mirror the image for a minute. OK, so let's mirror it. And there it goes. It just changed. All right. So let's change it back. Let's invert the image. Invert. And that's if you're doing acrylic. Okay, please keep in mind, that's if you're doing something clear like acrylic. All right, so we're going to bring that back. But let's look at these here, the contrast. All right, here's your slider bar. Now, watch your image on the left of your screen or of my screen. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. You see what happened there? I didn't like that. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back a little bit more. And that's really, let's just bring it right back to where it originally was, okay? Brightness. Again, you can do the same thing. I just made it a tiny bit brighter. Sharpening the image. But again, you're going to make it less bright or more bright depending on your image. And of course, you can go back to it and change it if you don't like it. Sharpen. R stands for radius and what percentage, all right? So what I do is I always automatically start with... 25. I put 25 in both boxes. Of course, you can put in 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, whatever. Apply sharpen, but watch the image. Okay. As you notice, it sharpened the image. You may not see it, but it did sharpen the image. Okay. A comic filter. That's if I want to apply a comic filter, which I don't want to but you can apply a comic filter, all right? And you hit save. So it saves the, the presets for this particular image. So here's my original image. Here is the new enhanced image is what I'll call it, all right? Now comes the fun part, okay? Let's go to the wood, uh, to the picture of the blue square. Now, this is the old settings that he had in the original software. Then there's the Norton method, all right? And I don't want to get too much into the Norton method. It was a, a, a method developed by a guy. His last name is Norton. And no, it's not Ed Norton from the Honeymooners, all right? Um, but it is a really cool method. Uh, Google or YouTube the Norton method, all right? The Norton, uh, Norton method is used a lot on tile, 
So check it out because it's really, really cool. All right. And then you have the new, um, the creator of this software uh, created new algorithms uh, that allow the computer to interpret and to reshape and redo, you know, your thing. And you've got here new wood, acrylic, glass, black slate, leather, cork, white tile. Now, if you go to Norton, you don't have cork. Oh, uh, yes, you do. I'm sorry. You got it here. It wasn't there before. So, all right. So, but I've been using the new method, the new algorithms, and I love it. All right. So let's say you're engraving a piece of wood. It could be Russian birch wood. It could be the wood slices from Michael's Crafts, you know, those tree trunk slices. So let's pick on new wood for a minute. Okay. Hit okay. And watch what happens. It's going to take your image and convert it to be a wood engraving. You see that? It's really, really cool what it does. And it picks up and it lets, if we zoom, you can actually see the dots and, and, and how the, the laser is going to create your, your image based on the shadowing and everything else. So let's bring it back, okay? Now, if you decide that you like this, all right? And again, you can go to advanced settings and, 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 and um, you know, tweak it a little bit more if you want or whatever. So we're not going to go back to here. Now we go back to new. Now we did wood. Let's see acrylic. Hit OK. <laughs> now, what I love about this software is it automatically inverted and mirrored the image for you. OK. That is, that's absolutely astounding. It's phenomenal. It saves so much time because in the past you had to go to Photoshop or Corel or Affinity and do this and do that. And it was 10,000 steps. This makes it all easy on one page right here. Okay. Let's go to Black Slate. Oh, let's go to New. Ah, let's pick Glass. Don't want to skip it. So you get to see the result each time. And again, remember your image, your original image is on the left. Now the glass looks a little bit different because it's going on glass. But again, the image is mirrored or inverted. Okay. And it'll come out absolutely astounding on uh, whether it's glass or whatever. All right. A, a, a drinking glass or a flat piece of glass. Okay. Let's go back. Go back to new. Pick black slate. Hit OK. Now, I've done all of these. I've done the wood, the acrylic, the glass, the black slate, and it's just, my God, it has saved me so much time, and I've posted pictures. I just love the way that this software works. And for those that you that have a laser, you're going to love the amount of time that you will save. But again, you will be very, very happy with the amount of detail and the quality of your work, especially if you're selling your items. Your customers are going to come back again and again and again. All right, so that was Black Slate. Let's go to leather. Hit OK. <laughs> Look at that. That's leather. It's, it, it would, it's going to come out beautiful. And you want to make sure you're doing real leather. It cannot be pleather. It cannot be the fake leather. Uh, because of the noxious fumes, it's just not going to work. You want to make sure that you're uh, laser engraving on real leather or cutting real leather. And on my website, you will see leatherable, laserable um, items. And of course, on many others, just Google it, you know, whatever. Okay, let's go back. All right, go back to new and let's pick cork. I did a, a, a leather coaster, uh, the other, uh, 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 I'm sorry, a round uh, cork coaster the other day, and it came out absolutely sunny. Again, you can see the subtle changes, all right? But this is what it would look like on cork, okay? Let's go back, click on new. We're going to go to white tile. Now, this is a tile. It's not a sublimation tile. You can go to Home Depot and buy a 4x4, four four, a 6x6, six six, an 8x10 bathroom tile and create an image. So if you're redoing your bathroom, 
throw some pizzazz in there and do a laser engraved tile. Now this is a white tile. We just did no prep. There you go. Okay. Go back. Now there's a lot of people who will take black paint. Pick it up at Home Depot. Black, black paint. Spray paint a white tile. Okay. Here it is. New white tile painted black. All right. And they'll laser engrave the black paint. And then, um, what do you call it? You wash the paint off, but whatever was laser engraved will remain on the tile. The, the paint gets baked into the tile. So let's pick, pick painted black. Hit OK. And there you go. It gives you an idea, all right? Um, it, it, it's not going to look like this. It, it's going to look really nice, I promise you. But check this website out for you guys that are using the, the lasers. Um, and there's a lot of you out there. And again, if you have any questions, 631-730-7228. Um, no pressure. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And again, the website here is image-r.com. Fantastic program. And when you're all done, you can save it, okay? And um, and that's it, all right? You would hit here to save and download it as a PNG, a bitmap, a JPEG, an SVG. I do PNG. I do PNG. And then if you've got more work to do, you can restart with a new image or just hit this right here, okay? So, more video tutorials are coming because the next video we're going to do is we're going to take that Indian image woman and set it up in the BMO software uh, and engrave it on a piece of wood to show you how it will come out, okay? So, until tomorrow, have a great evening, guys. And this is Peter from Aces Deal signing off. Love you all. Have a great night.